hey guys we're at the bench and we are going to tap that hole that we drilled in the crank and we've got a 5 8 inch tap it's uh, 18 threads per inch and then we have our uh, grade 8 bolts uh, with a washer on it and that is going to hold this clutch on and so we're not going to put the clutch on we're just going to tap this out for this bolt that's what we're going to do today so let's head out there and take care of that all right guys we're out here at the garage just gonna get a little oil in this thing first if we have any left i think i might have used it all All right, that's a nice start. So we just wanna rock it back and forth a bit. So I think we hit bottom, almost, because we said that hole was just over an inch and three quarters, and then plus there's a crown on it, so I think that's it.
Let's see if we can get a couple more in there. Yeah, that's it. I think. It nice, runs nice and smooth. I mean, come on, that's that's great. Just run it one down, run it down one more time. Just come back out, just clean it up. Anything we missed. Alright, looks good. Looks pretty clean. All right, guys, well, that worked out really well. I'm pretty pleased with the results of that. And then, uh, so here's a bolt that's gonna go in the clutch. And so, so we ran down it, so all the threads went into the crank. And so if we put this in here backwards, then you can see it's just all threads, so we know we're not gonna bottom out before it starts holding the clutch. And then plus we also have the thicknesses washer as another cushion as well. So boom, another part's done to the project. And uh, next time we will make the motor mounts for the Wisconsin. Thanks for watching guys.